Choose a place where you will live alone for three weeks. Excuse me? So you knew the basics of how to do this from the start? Yeah, from the beginning. <laughs> Bear Grylls taught me. Bear Grylls is my dad. <laughs> Yes, the country by England. the emojis. England! I live there! It's me! We love beer and football! Oh, I bet it's Germany. <laughs> Uh, guys, summer's almost here, and I hope you're ready for it. But no worries if you're not, because I just dropped some new limited edition summer-themed merch. Super cute furry Z-slides, an iridescent fanny pack, and these awesome crystal wash tees in two different colors with a puff print sunray logo. They'll be on sale this weekend until end of day Monday, so make sure to get them before they're gone. So today, I have decided to challenge my smartest friend. Me! <laughs> yeah, me is my smartest friend, I think. Maybe. Yes. I'm Find definitely out. the smartest friend that you have, because you don't you have feel... many friends. Yeah, that's... that's <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean that. <laughs> you sad music in black and white. <laughs> you have so many friends, Lauren. You're so loved. <laughs> What have I done? Well, out of all my three friends, we're gonna see if Yami is the <laughs> smartest one. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Because I need to know which of you is my smartest friend so that I know who I should trust in a situation. <laughs> what? In a life or death situation. Okay, Definitely... so this is a test. Yeah, this is a test. <laughs> wow, I didn't sign up for this. Are you ready for the test? <laughs> okay. But then you could be dubbed smartest friend. I'll get you a crown. I'll send you a crown that says smartest friend. You better. I'm expecting a crown after this now. <laughs> oh, you'll get one. Oh, ooh, look at this intro. Wait, is it always like, like that? that? Is it always like, oh wait, no. It's women. <gasps> oh, there's the ladies. Yeah. Okay, there we go. The brain goo. Seven second riddle. Oh God, ooh. A psycho put you into his trunk, Yabby. Oh no! And drove you to a remote area with no people nearby. Choose a place where you will live alone for three weeks. Excuse me? See, this is these are the things I need to know if you can handle in life or death situations so I know who to rely on, all right? Did you write this, like, riddle? Because this is something you would do, right? Clowns, Maybe. horror, knives. Maybe. I may have written this. <laughs> I may have submitted this to Seven Second Riddles. <laughs> if you manage to survive, I will let you go. There are three options. Okay, I'm ready. A desert with a couple of cacti. A sunny meadow with a banana and a glass oh, of water. Oh, I like that. A beach with sharp rocks and stormy seas. Which place would you choose? Ooh. I'm going to go with the stormy seas. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's got loads of fish there that I could eat for three weeks. Whereas the meadow with the banana, yeah, it just lasts a day. There's no water in the desert. You'd die soon. Yeah, but you have the cacti. The cacti have water. Yeah, but they're a bit sharp, aren't they? Look, and the uh, water. <laughs> you can't survive on a banana and a glass of water. Aww. See? Beach is the best choice. Okay, well done. Well done, Yami. Thank you. The sea would provide... Yeah, but what about water? You can't drink sea water. Oh. Uh, yeah, look, you can make. Oh, uh, how convenient! There's a bucket. Yes. See, and... I'm so smart. Wait, what? Yeah, look, you, you condensate it, and then it makes pure water. Oh, I didn't know this. Oh my god, leave it well, out. I did. Fresh water. <gasps> wow, this could save my life someday. You're learning from your smart friend, not from Seven Second Riddles, from me. The smart oh, this, friend. So you knew the basics of how to do this from the start? Yeah, from the beginning. <laughs> Bear Grylls taught me. Bear Grylls is my dad. <laughs> yes, the country by England! the emojis. England! I is live it? there! It's me! We love beer and football! Oh, I bet it's Germany. <laughs> second you were like oh wait <laughs> who else also loves beer and football yeah well i said germany. germany i said it before the time ends does that still count uh, yeah yeah it counts sure. right sure it i'll does. give it to you <laughs> oh india. my god india 
Why, right? India known for cows? Maybe you're right. They love cows. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. They do love cows. That's why they don't eat them. You answered that one for me, so I'm brainy still. <laughs> can, but can you answer this one? Cow <laughs> celebration. Oh, what bull celebration. Where do they have like the running of the bulls? Is that Spain? Maybe you're right. Maybe it is Spain. Spain! Spain! <laughs> I'm smart. Ooh, oh, island. Yeah, that, that's it's gotta be. One. You've been there. I have. <laughs> I love it there. Yay. Oh. Canada? They have bears, right? And snow. Are they, they known do. for that? Antarctica? But wouldn't that be a polar bear? Mm. I don't know where bears live. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where bears live. Russia? <laughs> oh, it Is might it be Russia. Russia or Canada? Russia! Russia! <laughs> Yay! Oh, what the? Okay. Who loves goats and surfing? And oranges. Australia? I'd say either New Zealand or Australia. Yeah, let's just say uh, New Zealand. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> we were both wrong. Okay. Prince Alex fell in love with a princess called Sophie from a neighboring kingdom. Oh, look at that. He's got a little picture in a frame. <laughs> He went to her father to ask for her hand. But the king didn't want Alex to marry Sophie. No, no, no. So he decided to trick Alex. Oh no. Two other girls will dress up like Sophie with their faces covered. If you guess who my daughter is, I'll let you marry her. Oh, no. If you don't, oh, I God. will kill you. Wow. <laughs> Why? I like this guy. Oh. Oh, Who's who Sophie? is it? Yeah, can you guess who it is? Who is Sophie? Uh, uh, they all look exactly <laughs> the same. The one on the left looks dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they drew a smile on her face. Yeah, I agree. I think it's the one in the left. She's like, other, why? The other, yeah, the other two are like, yay! And she's like, ah! She's like, why has my father done this? I hate his guts. <laughs> I don't know if it is though. Oh! Wow! Oh no. Oh, okay, okay, so out of the other two. It's definitely the middle one, because she was smiling in the picture. It's gotta be it's the gotta middle be. one, because the one on the right keeps like trying to get her crown to stop falling. So princesses would already <laughs> know how to get their crown to stop falling. I thought it would have been the one on the left, because she just looks like she wants to die. <laughs> <laughs> she does not want to be there. Uh, yeah, we were wrong. <laughs> This girl isn't used to wearing a crown, yep. You were right. Yay, we found Sophie. I mean, technically me and you would be dead by now because we would have picked the left one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, let's just give it to ourselves. We deserve it. Linda, Lisa, and Lucy are triplets. Their dad gave them an expensive sports bike for their birthday. Wait, for them to all share? The sisters have to keep it near their dorm. Yeah, why do they have to share this one bike? But they're afraid that someone can steal their bike. Like a giant. They don't want to buy one lock with many keys. Why? They bought three different locks. That just makes things ten times harder than it had to be. With a different key to each of them. What? Why is this getting so difficult? The girls set up the locks. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Each sister can unchain the bike using only her key. What? How did they connect the chain? What does that even mean? Oh my god, my brain. What? Okay, they both, they need, each one of them needs to be able to take the bike without unlocking the other sister's chain. So how did they connect it? So they, they connected all three chains to each other. I'm guessing so. They could, yeah, they connected all three chains to each other and then wrapped it like one big chain around it. So if you unlock one, the link breaks completely. And you can, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going that with that That must one. be right, <laughs> yeah. This was the most, like, this riddle was the most I've had to think in seven single, second riddle <laughs> history. My god. It's co so complicated. I don't know why they did that. They've made their lives hard. Why didn't they just use a combination lock? Oh! Uh-oh. What? Oh. Okay. You're supposed to be the smartest friend. That's why I chose these challenger smartest friend with these logic riddles and emoji games. Hey, I never said I was the smartest friend, okay? I lied when I said that. It was a lie. <laughs> Who is her husband? Is this the same guy twice? <laughs> it's like his twin. Y yeah, what the heck? B is holding an ice cream like just far enough away that the child... Also, if A is not her husband, who the heck is that? <laughs> I know, and why is he touching her? It must be her husband. <laughs> 
husband. Okay, it's gotta be A. And maybe but B is the uncle that is giving the or taunting it's gotta their be child. A. And then who the heck is C? Just a random bystander on the phone. I really hope her husband is C. <laughs> and these twins are just trying to like get in with her and her kid. <laughs> it's definitely gotta be A. It just has to be. Otherwise that's just weird. What is happening? Really? What is this? <laughs> They're her brothers? Excuse me? What? <laughs> okay, I'm not being stupid here, am I? That was ridiculous. That, why? Who is <laughs> brother just like hangs out with their arm around their sister. It's also creepy. the fact that they had to zoom so far into the Dan picture to show you the tiniest detail that they're related. Also yeah, also just because you have a mole in the same spot doesn't mean you're related. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. I hate you seven second riddles. I hate you so much. Once a detective came to see his friend. A passionate art collector. A friend boasted of his new purchase. I like it. A picture of a famous artist of the 19th century. I'm sorry to say you've been tricked. <gasps> oh my god. It's obviously fake. <laughs> How did he guess? Is what? There, is there something <laughs> in this that wasn't around in the 19th century? I want to say the motor on the boat. Oh, yeah. The plane, everything else is kind of like, I mean, there might be. Yeah, planes plane were plane. around. Yeah. I swear planes were around. And mm -hmm. cars like that were. And hot air balloons. I'm going to say the motor on the boat. I'm going to go with that because you're smarter than me. <gasps> no! You should have listened! The first the airplane. First airplane to... Oh, wait, wait. Wait, isn't that not the 19th wait! century? I'm Googling this. What is the 19th century? Began on January 1st, 1801. Ended on December 1st, 1900. Oh! Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that. Who knows that? If you guys know that, you're smarter than us. Congratulations. <laughs> it's not that big of an accomplishment. <laughs> Cut that one out. We look stupid. <laughs> Cut out the ones where we get them all wrong, so we look so brainy. So we look super smart. Wait, wait. I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, well, I know this one. Yeah, clearly, this is so easy. Planes weren't invent or weren't flying until the 1903. Did you know the 19th century ended in 1900? Of course I did. It's general knowledge that everybody knows. <laughs> Wow. We're wow. So smart. Wow. Told you, 1903. How did you know that? Chris came back from work a bit earlier today. Good on you, Chris. Oh, God. He was excited to see his wife earlier. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh! I'll kill him. He went out on the balcony. Did the guy fall to his death? Oh. On the bench <laughs> sat guys. Who is his wife's lover? Okay. Well. Oh. Oh, it's, it's not the guy in the left right. He's gonna be too young. He's like in college too young So I think it's the guy in the middle because his shirt is on backwards. Oh, I didn't even notice that I was gonna say because the guy on the right has like luggage. Oh, he wouldn't have been able to get down Oh. So yeah, it's, it's guy gonna be the guy the in the middle, middle. Look at it. he's so happy, he's smiling away. Yeah, see, somebody was in a hurry. Oh, he's missing a sock or a shoe. Oh, I didn't even, Whatever I didn't even that catch is. that one. <laughs> a policeman was walking in the park when he heard a man screaming. <gasps> Help, he nearly killed me. Oh no. He had a mustache and wore a hat. <laughs> a coat and glasses. I'll get him. <laughs> oh, the disguise is on the ground. He must be in the cafe. What is... Wait, Who's a criminal? What is below this guy's? <laughs> he's having a bit of a nosebleed. Just ignore that. Yeah, <laughs> well, he said he had a mustache, so and a hat and glasses. But the guy left his hat and glasses, so maybe it's that. Oh, it's that guy, and he he tried to shave his mustache so quickly that he nicked himself. Oh, okay. I can yeah. be a detective. It must I mean, be him then. Let me know if there's anybody else, but it's gotta be him. The, the robber. robber had thrown his hat away. Yeah, and his glasses, right? Yeah. He thrown the glasses away too. He got rid of his coat. You were right. Yeah. Wait. He must it have got rid of his fake, fake mustache. Who is the fake doctor? Wow, look at that woman <laughs> with a knife. <laughs> it took me longer than it should have. Um, is it the woman with the knife? No, surely not. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's the one with the name. <laughs> oh, more fake okay. doctors. I was expecting it to be harder than that. Okay, who's the fake doctor? Uh, the one holding a is tooth? It... 
Is it the guy on the right? It's like a no. The guy on the left. He has an X-ray oh. tooth. Oh, so he's a dentist, he's not a, dentist. a doctor. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, wait, wait, I was right. Yeah, I knew that. Wait, why? I was right. I was just right, just because. But what? What are they circling? Because the... he's not using the light. Yeah. That's oh, why he cause... was not using the light, Lauren. Jeez, oh. you should have seen that. Who is the fake doctor? Um... Oh, the guy on the left is a real doctor. He's so tired. <laughs> Everybody else is way too happy to be a doctor. Yeah. Um... Hmm. The woman looks suspicious. The red-haired woman. Yeah, she does. She doesn't I'm have saying, a badge on. I say it's the red-haired woman. What? Oh, Comments! Oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what in the world is happening? <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, well, I already know the answer, but I'm very, very confused. It's definitely C, isn't it? Because the tattoos, they got matching tats? Uh, yeah, it's C, because they have the forever tattoo together. Oh, yeah. That's so sweet. But what's happening? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't understand. This one's bringing him food. Oh my god. This is such a weird situation that nobody should ever be in. <laughs> this is like my nightmare. Is he having some sort of like four way? This is his like the male fantasy come true. <laughs> like, I don't know which one of you is my wife. I don't like the bags on the head, Lauren. It's making me feel uncomfortable. This, this whole situation makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm like rubbing him too. <laughs> Okay. That was wild. Uh, so, Yami, what did you think? Why do you bring me onto your channel to I traumatize me every time? Yeah, I feel like every time- Yeah, last time it was, um, the sad gotcha story. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's been a time where I had you look at oddly satisfying things that weren't actually oddly satisfying, just traumatizing. <laughs> but I do think you're still my smartest friend. So Aww, congratulations. Thank you. I'm waiting yeah. for the crown in the post, all right? Oh yeah, that's right. I have to send you a crown. I'll work yeah. on that. 